Welcome back. The Walk to Embrace Cultural Diversity coming up once again in Kamloops. It's taking place March 21st, uh, getting started at Wilson House at 11 a.m., I believe. Here to tell us a little bit more about this march, we have Graham sitting next to me, Jasmine in the middle, and Paul Legacy on the end. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. How's everybody doing on St. Patrick's Day? Ooh, great. Really well. Good, good. Who would like to speak first about this walk? This has become very much an annual event, Paul. Uh, I'm sure you're glad to see it going on again. We'd love to see the event go because it involves TR you students as well as uh, the community and all uh, levels of community are involved. How big does this walk get? How, what was the turnout like last year, for example? I can't recall. I think we uh, had about 125, 150 yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. the previous year was around 90, 95. And so we're pretty much expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 people, a little, maybe a little more this year. Yeah. And are we talking about people from all walks of life that are coming out to do this? Absolutely. Yeah. So we get... We get calls from people, we get emails from people saying, when is it? There's uh, people from our, the multicultural community who participate, and there are people just from the public who want to come and enjoy. Which is great. We have some pictures, I believe, uh, that uh, you guys sent in on uh, your behalf so that we could show the viewers a little bit. Uh, this might have been last year. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jasmine, you are a TRU student. Are you interning at uh, Kamloops Immigrant Services? Yeah, so I'm a third year Bachelor of Social Work student doing my practicum at Kamloops Immigrant Services. There's actually four of us. Um, we've been working on the event since January, so we're really excited to see it finally coming together for sure. Tell me a little bit about the walk. What would you like people to know about it? Um, well, I'll give you basic details first. So it's going to be this coming Tuesday, um, March 21st. Um, we're starting at 11 a.m. at the Wilson House, which is 115 Tronkill Street. We're going to um, do an opening ceremony, ceremony walk all the way up to Cam's Immigrant Services for an open house. Um, the reason we do it on March 21st is because it's with the United Nations Declaration um, for the International Day to Eliminate Racial Discrimination. So. Fantastic. So you want people to come uh, with open minds and open hearts. Uh, is it something where people are carrying banners? Is it one of those? I saw a few in the pictures. Do you encourage people to come out with that sort of stuff? Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, we try and make it fun for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we see this as a, a perfect opportunity to come together as a community and just show that um, Kamloops is so much more than tolerant, but rather we're proud and we want to celebrate the mm -hmm. diversity in Kamloops. So bubbles, banners, chalk, everything. A lot of tension south of the border, of course, with the Trump administration in regard to immigration. And uh, there's been, you know, a lot of tension in that country. Uh, how, can you speak to that, Paul? And is it affecting us here? I think that's more of a, a I don't want to criticize the media, but I think it's really an attention grabbing process with, uh, with the media. But, we're not seeing that here in, in Kamloops, and I doubt we would ever see that because the, the newcomers' population here in Kamloops has been pretty steady at between 250, 300 people per year coming into the community. There's never been any challenge. Which is great. So we're keeping yeah. the peace here, which is awesome. Graham, what part do you have to play? Um, well, I coordinate a lot of our, our team of uh, practicum students as well as uh, getting in touch with various uh, members of the community and the multicultural community. For example, uh, I contacted the Multicultural Society, inviting its member organizations, the cultural organizations of Kamloops, to bring their own banners and their own flags and their own uh, spirit to the event and walk with us. Fantastic. Anything else that you'd like to add? I know you have a calendar that you yes, brought for Yes, I me. have a gift for you. This Thank is the you. 2017 multi-faith calendar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the artwork is beautiful in here and it what it does is it highlights all the various cultural celebrations in any given month awesome. uh, and shows them relative to each other. And now it can't be completely exhaustive because it's one piece of paper, so sure. there's not every single cultural celebration in the world, yep. but uh, it's very comprehensive, and uh, I, I really enjoy it myself. Awesome. Well, so I will... This uh, is for you. Thank you very much. I'll accept that and use it. I'll put it up at the house. Uh, I wish you guys well with the, the walk. Uh, it's Thank coming you. up again uh, this coming Tuesday at Wilson House, 11 o'clock. You can go to the website if you're looking for more information, but... Uh, Thank you for the three of you coming in today to talk Thank about you. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Quick break. We'll have more Midday when we return. Stay with us.